Hi guys, MaximMonty15 and 16 here, back again with another countdown to Christmas review. So anyway, with only four days left until Christmas, I have decided to go ahead and show you guys my Thomas and Friends Wood Railway Stanley versus the Thomas and Friends Wood Stanley. So let's go ahead and begin. Anyway, so here we have the Thomas and Friends Wooden Railway 2017 Stanley. Now, of course, you might notice that I do not have the original 2008 version, considering it was destroyed in a flood in 2012, where my Wooden Railway studio flooded because it was unfinished. And, well, yeah, um, I was, I lost that Stanley, it got destroyed in the flood, as well as a childhood Henry, a childhood Thomas, an extra of Thomas, and a troublesome truck. But anyway, uh, looking at Stanley here, he does have a nice shake, at least the 2017 version, and yes, I did Sharpie and some coal. I don't even remember doing that, but apparently I did. So, uh, one thing I'm not a fan of this model is um, there are a lot of paint defects, um, especially because they stopped putting lacquer coat. They put, stopped putting lacquer coats on these models in 2017, and because of this, um, Stanley, Stanley's paint is very vulnerable to chips, as you can see along his cab and on his on the bottom of his running board. So that's one thing I'm not really not a really big fan of, especially since I haven't had him for very long. But another thing that I really do like is his shape, especially that um, it's a bit wider, definitely um, more realistic to the um, TV series that um, this model is obviously based on. So anyway, with Stanley here, he was introduced in 2008 in The Great Discovery, of course. And so, um, his original model was very skinny, and of course, I'm not like, I mean, it's not really supposed to be body shaming, but I mean, Stanley isn't, I mean, Stanley shouldn't be that thin of an engine. He also shared the same, same problem as Salty. And so anyway, uh, he actually does have an indention in his boiler area down here where his boiler's up on the top, and we have this little indention right here where we can see some wires and pipes and everything like that which i'm really not sure what it's called but yeah and then we obviously have his dome right here as well as his uh silver or like a pearly gray smoke box as well as his his um new updated cgi face on his uh smoke box so there's another indention right here which i'm not really sure what that is but i'm i'm guessing that's his safety valve and so, uh, obviously, as you can see, his coal bunker is also has, also has an indention back there. And for anatomy, at least, that's pretty much it for this 2017 Stanley. Moving right along into the 2008 Stanley, 2018, I apologize. Uh, this Stanley is definitely pretty strange. The face is almost twice as big, which is not a good thing at all. Obviously, the smoke boxes are pretty much the same, except obviously this one is bigger. And um, both both have open funnel holes, which is something that we haven't seen in maybe 10 years in Thomas Wooden Railway. I mean, at least for um, how big the funnel is. I mean, yeah, that's what I meant. So anyway, uh, you can definitely see that there is still an indention in Stanley. However, it is not as big, and there's no top one anymore. Basically, now it's just even more exposed wood, which is really ugly. And um, they didn't even bother to uh, give Stanley a unique design for his bunker. Instead, just kind of cutting it out. And then, at least they did bother to give him some coal, which I have to say, uh, I am a fan of that. Um... At least his cab window is bigger, I'm not really sure if that's accurate or not, but uh, his lining, like these squares, are definitely smaller, as well as his proportions are really squished, considering of all the exposed wood now. For example, his running board um, is a little bit short, and so is his nameplate, and um, he's, his safety valve actually has details now, and so does his dome, which is now outlined, but uh, anyway... Sorry for that, the camera just glitched. But uh, anyway, I'm guessing that's pretty much it for this review of Stanley. So obviously, I'm pretty sure which one's the winner, and it's definitely the 2017 Stanley. If you don't, if you don't own a one railway Stanley already, I would actually recommend going to pick up the 2017 one over the 2008 one, even though it is a bit more pricey. Just stay away from the Thomas Wood model. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great day. Max and Monty, 15 and 16, signing out.